สวัสดีครับ and good afternoon once again today is uh, Tuesday the 20th of April 2021 and this is the English language summary of the daily press briefing here at the CCSA so thank you to Dr. t h w i s i n just now who gave us the summary of the situation at the moment of course he uh, ended with uh, some issues about the hospital beds which is actually a management in uh, progress so that we are we can be ensured that all persons who are found positive with COVID will have hospital beds for treatment. And I'll talk a little bit about that later, especially about the new field hospital uh, opening in Bangkok as well. So firstly, the general situation and the numbers that we record for today. New confirmed case, 1,443, as you see in the infographic on screen. Out of this number, 1,328 are cases of local transmission, 113 from active case finding, and only two from the state, within the state quarantine system. New recoveries is 171. The active cases still being treated, as you see on screen, is 16,119. Unfortunately, we have four new fatalities to report to you for today. making the cumulative number of fatalities now standing at 108. The 105th fatality is a 78-year-old individual who had thyroid and high blood pressure. The 106th is a 78-year-old as well uh, man who was a trader in Bangkok with diabetes, high blood pressure, and frequently visited gambling dens. The 107th fatality is an 86-year-old uh, Indian national female with pre-existing conditions like thyroid uh, and uh, was bed-bound in Bangkok. Uh, she was in close contact with a friend who was later tested positive for COVID. And the fourth or the 108th fatality is a 30-year-old uh, business person with a history of visits to entertainment venues in Tong Law District in Bangkok. and had visited relatives in Ayutthaya province. So our sin sincere condolences to the four, uh, the families of the four uh, diseased uh, uh, fatalities. Now just uh, one observation from those who are uh, still under treatment, uh, the active case is still under treatment. We have around 200 plus uh, severe cases, as well as 55 on ventilators. Additional observations. First is that the numbers right now in Thailand are actually they keep fluctuating uh, with an upward trend. Although in some provinces uh, the numbers have improved, uh, province uh, specific. So we therefore continue to ask for your cooperation uh, to be very cautious and be mindful of the various risks uh, of COVID. Today, we have new cases in 68 provinces as compared to new cases in 70 provinces yes, uh, two days ago, the day before yesterday. Globally, Thailand is ranked at 107 now in the world on the number of cases found uh, in the country. When we talk about the entertainment cluster, the mostly those who have been uh, infected with COVID in the entertainment clusters, most of them are actually uh, patrons or visitors to the, to the area, to the venue. 57% uh, are from those who are guests uh, to entertainment venues. 18% from the staff within the venues itself and another 17% from those who have contacted those who visited entertainment venues. So this is especially for the people who tested positive in the entertainment uh, cluster. One piece of information regarding one particular province is about the province of Phuket, where they have enacted new uh, stringent measures for entry into Phuket. for the dates between the 21st tomorrow of April until the 30th of April at the end of the month, which includes those traveling by vehicle and by flights. And they've come up with these new measures to curb the infection as follows. Number one, 
Those who have received two vaccinations with supporting official documents are eligible to travel to Phuket. Number two, those who have COVID-free certificate issued no more than 72 hours before departure from the point of origin can enter Phuket. Number three, those who, have, who do not have the said documents mentioned are required to, to take the rapid antigen test upon arrival and must wait for the results at the airport. So this is the, oh, sorry, there's uh, two more. Number four, those entering Phuket by vehicle from the red zone provinces will be screened at the checkpoints uh, in Phuket. And number five, before entry into Phuket, passengers must download the Marchana application, register in the gophuket.com application, this is specific for the province, as well as inform the uh, authorities for uh, tracking purposes so, and strictly follow all preventive measures. Now, there is this uh, exception for entering into Phuket for those who are transporting goods uh, and who are not staying uh, overnight. They must carry a permission document before being allowed entry into Phuket. Yes, so this is some uh, new information for Phuket uh, effective tomorrow, the 21st of, of April. Now, about uh, curfew, as mentioned in the briefings that we had earlier this week, and just to uh, take out the, any uh, misinformation that uh, we might have heard. So there had been some false information spreading online regarding the supposed announcement of curfew in some areas of Thailand between 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Now, it has been clarified that there's no curfew announced by the government under regulation number 20 in accordance with the declaration of emergency situation under the emergency decree that uh, became effective on the 18th of April 2021. So there had been no curfew. Um, in fact, the time frame mentioned 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. under this regulation is op only applicable to the opening hours of certain venues, uh, including convenience stores, uh, restaurants, and supermarkets, and does not apply to the general public, nor does it imply uh, any ban on uh, travel. It is discouraged, uh, movement is discouraged, but it is not uh, pr uh, prohibited. And individuals can still make necessary trips per, as usual during these hours, but please bear in mind that everyone is requested to reduce uh, movement and travel uh, and their interaction with others in their daily commutes during these times uh, for us to try to best flatten the cur COVID curb uh, curve nationwide. So just now I mentioned about Field Hospital, just one related information is that the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration opened the second Erawan Field Hospital in Bangkok Arena Sports Center in Nongchok District in Bangkok as the, as, as the fourth field hospital in Bangkok to cope with the increasing number of cases and the governor of Bangkok, Governor Asawin Kwan Meung, said that patients who showed no symptoms would be treated at field hospitals, adding that the, these field hospitals offer various facilities, such as uh, meals, Wi-Fi, as well as CCTV camera for security. Patients who wish to receive treatment in the field hospitals can contact the Era One Center at hotline 1669, and officials can also arrange for transport for those who cannot uh, go to the field hospitals uh, themselves. So just an additional point before um, closing that as we fight COVID and practice DMHTT in our daily lives and as we work from home, I believe that everyone is working from home to the maximum capacity at the moment, be they government agencies or private uh, companies. So as we practice work from home, um, there is Another tool to remain healthy is to maintain positive thoughts. Now, mental health is also very important during these times, and the Department of Mental Health of the Public Health Ministry has recommended four doses of mindfulness for us, which we can do ourselves without having to visit the hospital. The first, number one, is mindfulness. The, the first dose of mindfulness, uh, of the mindfulness vaccine is safety. 
as in practicing safe behavior, such as wearing masks, washing hands, and social distancing, avoiding congested areas. The second dose is to avoid panicking by reading and consuming news updates from credible sources, such as the Ministry of Public Health and other agencies, and always do fact checkups. Number three, the third dose is hope, as hope will motivate us and keep our spirits high for a better tomorrow. And fourth, lastly, is the final dose is empathy, to understand the feelings of other people by listening and sending support to those around us. So this is uh, basically what I have for you for uh, today's uh, briefing. When there are any important uh, issues that are sent to us on social media in our inbox, we tend to take a very short time in addressing those issues. Um, this morning, I also received uh, a message uh, on in one of our uh, social media uh, inboxes uh, regarding the information provided in the English language briefing. So we hope to improve that from time to time um, to include uh, issues that will be of interest. For example, the severe cases of those who have bound, found, uh, been found uh, positive with, with COVID, those still under treatment. I mentioned uh, in the earlier part of this briefing, uh, over 200, 222 severe cases now out of the uh, Current cases, cases, active cases still being treated, 222 are severe cases, and, some, and 55 are those who have to use a ventilator. So that's an indicator um, of the severity of the cases that we have uh, for at the, at the moment. So th issues such as these are issues that have been sent to us in our inbox that, they, that our audience would like to uh, hear. So when we have these requests, we'll send that to you, we'll uh, deliver that to you, from time to time. Another issue is about the availability of hospital beds. Um, there was a uh, certain uh, individual who kindly uh, gave us a, a suggestion that uh, the audience here might want to hear about hospital beds. However, of course, the focus now is on the field hospitals, which is a management in progress that I mentioned. And mostly, I believe that uh, expats or foreign uh, nationals uh, would uh, be entering into the alternative state quarantine and hospitals more than the field hospitals, of, of course. I think that's the case. So that's why we haven't been talking about field hospitals as much as the Thai version. But from time to time, when there are information regarding these uh, issues, hospital beds, as per request uh, of, uh, from, that we receive from social media, we'll talk about that. Uh, the issue about vaccine is very important for foreign nationals as well. So as soon as we receive more information, regarding the uh, how and uh, ways and means uh, in all of these registration processes. We'll get back to you as, as soon as possible for, for these. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. So the cup. ในครับรองอธิบดีกรมสารอธิเทศและรองโฆษกกระทรวงการต่างประเทศนะครับและทั้งหมดคือการแถลงข่าวจากสบคประจําวันนี้นะครับกลับมาติดตามการแถลงข